And after the fall of Sliman, Ukrainians continue the counter-offensive both in the east but as well in the southern front. And what uh, is striking is the speed at which they progress. Since the beginning of the counter-offensive uh, launch uh, at the beginning of September, Ukrainian troops are gaining uh, territory almost every day. We've been told uh, by a commander in the eastern front that now the goal is to uh, advance as quickly as possible by small groups, not uh, to let the Russian troops a uh, building line uh, of defense or uh, not to let uh, Russian troops the time to uh, organize themselves. And uh, this tactic seems to work even in the southern front uh, here in the Kherson uh, region where fortification trenches uh, are much more stronger than uh, in the eastern, eastern side of Ukraine. And the Ukrainian managed to break through uh, uh, almost 15 uh, kilometers in this southern front line, which uh, is a lot. And uh, by the way, commanders uh, are well aware that it's not just tactical success uh, because uh, uh, those success uh, have as well a political effect because uh, we have to keep in mind that the Ukrainians today uh, are making gains and are advancing in uh, Donbass region, but as well in the Kherson region, uh, both region uh, that Russia uh, decided to annex the week behind.